Is it, is it on? Yeah. Um, top. Yeah, what's up, YouTube? It's G Rod 83 And, um, I want to talk about Last K. Um, supposedly he was, he was found dead because he supposedly he had heart failure. And, um, he died August 13, 2010. He was only 29 years old. And it's a tragedy how all these wrestlers keep dying. And nobody cares about them, you know. They they they, they put them on the road. They're always on the road 24/7, and they don't get no sleep. And um, you know, they just use them to make money off of them. And it's you know, it's, it's sad because these wrestlers keep dying and dying. I, at, at a young age, they, they tw at their 20s, they died at their early 20s, late 20s. And it's it's sad, bro, because you know, I really I really like these wrestlers. And you know those, those are some of the some of my heroes that I grew up watching. And even though I'm I'm not really a a big Lance Kane fan, but I still respect him because he was a pro wrestler. And to me, anybody that that loves the business like I love the business, I respect him. You know, because Lance Kane was um he he started in 2003 in WWE, and um he was in a team called he was in a team with um Trevor Murdoch, and he was a guy that that Shawn Michaels trained. And I know that Shawn Michaels might be, might be sad, you know, after after hearing that the last K passed away, and um, I re I really didn't really like him a lot, but I respect his his ring ability and what he did for the business, you know. And um, 2003, he was in an airplane, and he had a, a seizure, and after having that seizure in the airplane, Vince McMahon released him from from WWE, and then he was doing house shows. And he was doing house shows in indie promote uh, for, for indie promotions, and he was getting paid five hundred, six hundred dollars. Cause I read on the website that the last show he did for any promotion, he uh he got paid six hundred dollars, and that's money that he was using to to pay off his bills and support the family. Cause he was released from WWE, and all he know how to all he knew how to do was wrestle. He didn't know anything else. So you know, and it's a, it's a tragedy of wrestlers are dying. It's sad because I really love the business, and I was um taking a shower, and my home my homeboy Tino he called me, hey bro, guess who died? And I was thinking Bobby the Brain, he, it was Bobby the Brain because he's in critical condition, and my homeboy told me oh, um, Lance K died, and I was I was mad, bro. And when I hung up the phone, I just broke down and started crying, and I know people told me why you cry? This is wrestling, but I don't care what nobody says. But I love wrestling, and I'm always gonna love it, and I'm gonna fight for it. You know, because wrestling has been good to me. It's the only thing I know. You know, and um, it's it's, it's sad how nobody does nothing to to talk to help these guys. They just keep dying and dying. Tragedies keep happening. Eddie Guerrero, Chris Benoit, um, so many, so many. Mr. Perfect, um, um, so many, so so many of them are just dying and dying. The wrestling business, I love it, and I wish I, I could be a wrestler. But sometimes, sometimes um, the wrestling business is not everything people think it is. Yes, I do love the business, like I said, but but the business the, of wrestling is not like people think. They use you 24/7 on the road. You're always traveling. You don't get no sleep. You're using painkillers because your body, your body, your bones and your body hurts from all the beating in the ring, and you know, and it's sad how nobody cares about them. All they care about is making money. Off of them and using them 24/7 on the road. And if you're not a big guy like, like Undertaker or like um, or like um Shawn Michaels or Triple H, they don't give you time off. But if you're those guys, they give you time off, and that's not that's not right. I think they should have maybe not exactly a or off season like like other sports, because WWE, because pro wrestling is not considered a sport. You know, it's considered it's considered like a show, like a soap opera. You know, and I think um. They should have at least two, two, at least a month and a half or a month of rest, because their bodies can't take it no more. That's why they take painkillers, and sometimes they get stressed. They don't spend time with family. They're always on the road, and I know it's it's, it's sad, bro. And nobody does nothing to help them and to to guide them and tell them, hey, you shouldn't do drugs. You shouldn't do this and talk to them, because they're dying at a young age. And I know it's it's sad. It's it hurts, bro. But I don't know. That's that's the wrestling world. Is, is, it's not easy, bro. I love the business and 
and everything, but to be in the business of wrestling, you better, you want to be in the, in the wrestling business, you got to think about it twice before joining it, because, I don't know, it's not, it's not everything people think, you know, and I don't know, and it's sad how nobody's telling them, talking to these wrestlers, bro, and I don't know why they don't, they don't do nothing to, to talk to them, and, you know, I don't think this one man cares about the wrestlers, he just cares about making money off of them. You think really, you think, uh, you think this one man really cares about, about, about John Cena? Nah, he just, he's just using him for, to make money off of him. So his product will keep growing and growing more than it already has grown for over 50, 60 years, you know? And, and John Cena's just, and John Cena's there making money for Vince McMahon and making money for Vince McMahon. And it's a tragedy, bro, it's a tragedy. And, um, that's just my thoughts. That's just my thoughts on on the tragedy of Lance K and um, peace out, YouTube. And how do I turn it off?